In this case, we see engorged vessels coursing along the left lateral aspect of the pons with minimal associated mass effect, just posterior to the left cerebral peduncle. The vessels appear to drain into the left basal vein and ultimately the straight sinus. The vessels additionally extend along the margins of the midbrain and, and the left tentorial leaflet. Following this MRI examination, conventional angiography was performed to better delineate this finding. Not included here, the angiographic findings were consistent with a left superior petrosal sinus, dural arteriovenous fistula that was partially thrombosed with a dilated petrosal vein with tributaries including the lateral mesencephalic vein and cerebellar veins, ultimately draining into the straight sinus via the left basal vein of Rosenthal, the left internal cerebral vein, and the vein of Galen. Extensive meningeal arterial feeders were demonstrated from the occipital, posterior auricular, ascending pharyngeal, and middle meningeal arteries. Dural arterial venous fistulas in adults are thought to be acquired lesions on the basis of trauma or dural venous sinus thrombosis and are variably, variably classified. The venous drainage pattern has been correlated with the risk of developing intracranial hemorrhage, which is most commonly seen with a direct cortical venous drainage pattern. Treatment depends on the extent of the lesion and ranges from conservative measures to endovascular intervention, surgical resection, uh, and radiosurgery.